All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. So let's do a long-term review of this Easy Trail cart. Uh, they get brought up a lot on social media because they are a very price-based cart, but they get hammered a lot because of Easy Trail of old um, was a little more cheap. We're here uh, feature for feature, like your spindle diameter, uh, overall weight of the cart will be right right there with any of the big name competitors. Um, so we bought this one in the fall of 17 and or in the summer of 17 with tarpon scale and the 35.5 32 rubber. Uh, at that time a brand uh, was was a pretty good jump in price for more more money for the same cart. Um, for the same money with like Demco and, and Unreferth and Kilbros and some of them other carts, for the same money with the same options, you would have been down to like a 750 and then we couldn't just park the wagon, park the cart at the headland to, to fill trucks that way out of the field. You'd always needed a second trip to top off trucks, which really slows down the system. Um, and so, Honestly, this easy trail, it, it probably lasts me the rest of my life. Until I get to the point where I need a tax write-off, this cart's probably going to stay with me. Seven, so from 17 to now the harvest of 23, there's still paint on some of the flighting. There's, there's not hardly a spot inside where the paint has wore off. I mean, this thing is built to last. Um, I think Easy Trail came a long ways. At the time we got this, there was no adjustable spout features. But a grain cart has two things. Um, it's volume and it's unload rate. Easy Trail does not list an unload rate. So you saw at the opening video, it, it's 300 some bushel a minute of unload rate of dry corn. I think the way that auger is, that's an 18 inch auger. It takes very little power to run. I like that. Um, you can, you can, in an emergency, you can shut it off with the auger full, shut the door, and then just gently bring your PTO on and it will be just fine. Um, so that's kind of, it's very user friendly, very mistake proof kind of cart. Um, I think if a guy puts them just quarter inch round on the leading outer edge on the lead side of that lower auger for them couple feet that's down in the sump. I think you'd pick up quite a bit of capacity to that auger, but I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I need that. Uh, it works very well as is. The auger folds nice to the side. Uh, we did get the cart tarp and scale when we got it. Volume wise, you know, corn 54, 56, 54 pound test weight. Is, um, but I can get, you know, 53,000 on it pretty average out in the field you're not getting a thousand bushel because of hills and driving and you'd have to stop in the combine top off that last little bit uh, soybeans you there you're not getting anywhere close you no way are you getting a thousand bushels of beans on that thing um, beans as well you get you know get your 52 53 thousand pounds There'll be some area left over, um, but yeah, it, it carries itself very well in the field. It's got a nice balance for putting some weight on the tractor without being overly heavy on the drawbar. It pulls like a dream across the field. Um, the tarp, the tarp is the same aftermarket as many others. So it, it is what it is. It's a tarp. The scale is the Waytronics, just like on an old TMR or. A lot of other people. Um, the big thing is the day we bought this one, that same day, a Kinsey, and maybe Kinsey is the top of the line, but a Kinsey was, God, if I remember right, like 15 grand more on the day we bought this one. And you're just like, stop. Nope, not happening. Um, but yeah, it's, it's treated us very well. Um, it's a box with an auger on wheels. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's, I like the lower profile, um, so it's easy to unload into with the combine and even like the 8820, you know, a physically 
smaller combine. I think a 7720 would actually unload pretty good into this cart. Um, so for the smaller farmers, um, it, it works nice. We use it a lot to just sit at the headland when I'm by myself and just combine and dump into the cart and, and wait for the semi to, like when we're doing beans, wait for a semi to show up or for corn on the custom corn, combine and dump, wait for a semi to show up, jump into the tractor, go fill the semi up, come back and, and start over and, and do it myself again. But uh, on that note, I don't know what more to say. Like I said, it's a box with two wheels and an auger. It, it does everything it's advertised to do. It works very well. It's wearing very well. We we do a lot of auger in and auger out. So we got two trucks in a row. So we'll we'll fill the cart, park him, so then another truck can park here and start filling. And then um, then when that second truck shows up right at the same time, we can we can fill him and he's gone kind of deal. What makes a nice surge bin. So um, you know thousand acres a year roughly in or out at one point on him and so yeah yeah it, it, it's a fantastic cart I, I guess I would I would stick with easy trail seems to be a good value a good quality at a, a good price so you can see through the window the corn is falling there so once it gets to a certain point then I'll roll ahead and uh, start filling from the back And, uh, and so then I can see through the window, I can see the pile in the back as it builds. And so then I can just kind of keep backing up and once in a while get out and just kind of check it by eyeball as well. Um, but it, it works out really, really slick. Um, and, and yeah, I just got it here on the, my joystick. So left and right slide out slide in, auger forward, auger backward, <clears throat> very simple cart, uh, no control box or anything like that. <clears throat> the scale I, I just leave here, I don't, I don't have it bolted up, it works there because then I can flip it against the window and, uh, and so then I can see my scale from the combine when I'm doing calibrations and so yeah, alright let's start the review. I like the auger, it's got a lot of reach, you know, there's a lot of room between the truck and the cart. It's got good reach with that flow kind of squirting out at an angle. Going into small gravity wagons, you got to kind of be careful <laughs> so you don't squirt out the other side. The only thing we've had to do is the hydraulic cylinder that swings the auger. I had to put in a bigger cylinder because the one that came with the auger or came with the cart wasn't strong enough on the older tractors that the 2200 PSI hydraulic system wasn't strong enough to fold the auger and I talked to Easy Trail about it and they said since then I asked them like you know is this a problem and they said since then they've they've increased so I just bought a four inch cylinder um, and the handle that runs the clean out door is a little bit cheap but I can live with it because if you get out there right away and you know, so like if we're empty here and you know rain's coming, you open the tarp. If you open the clean out door right now, it's no big deal. But if you leave it sit and, you know, a week later after it's got a bunch of rain in it, then uh, then you're going to have problems. Then you got a pipe wrench right next to the door um, kind of deal. But, but yeah, it works good. We got a new driver here, so I'm being nice to him today. And, and just going slow so he can he can start to do his thing and that's what I'm saying you know I got my engine at a 990 rpm and the gates wide open and uh, it, it's not putting hardly any labor I bet the 4430 in dry corn could easily run this PTO we're gonna find out because when we get going into corn for ourselves full time we're gonna put the 4430 on the cart just to be the PTO operator and uh, and I think the 4430 can can run this cart with that PTO horsepower <laughs>